Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is me Aditi. I hope all of you guys are doing well. So in today's video, I am going to be creating this beautiful, beautiful uh, Valentine's Day makeup look. If you guys are planning to spend your entire day with your loved ones, this is the makeup tutorial uh, that you wanna you know follow. Uh, so I am going to actually show you how you can actually create this very easy, subtle makeup look, subtle daytime makeup look, and how you can actually transform this uh, makeup look into a very beautiful date night makeup look so yeah i'm going to show you all the steps that you want to follow to you know transform into this beautiful glamorous gorgeous date night makeup look so if you guys want to know how i created this look what are the products that i use then please continue watching but before that please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos coming your way you can share this video with the family and friends as well and yeah with that let's get started Starting with this face wash that I've been using for a month now because I am getting acne uh, these days and this has salicylic acid which is a BHA that is beta hydroxy acid. This targets enlarged pores, acne breakouts and blackheads. It prevents clogging of pores and provides room for new cells to grow. So you just want to take uh, a pump of this and massage onto your wet skin uh, in a gentle upward circular motion and then just rinse uh, this thoroughly with water and gently pat dry. And and then I'm gonna use this 2% salicylic acid face serum again this has obviously uh, you know salicylic acid so I am just gonna apply this all over my face I'm just gonna take few drops of this and I'm gonna apply this all over my face uh, you can use this every single day uh, in your skincare routine and don't forget to apply a good sunscreen after the application of the salicylic acid serum this is the routine that I've been following for a month now and I'm really, really loving the results from this so yeah you can actually you know replace your normal face wash like your regular face wash this uh, with this uh, salicylic acid face wash this is perfect for your everyday use so start your journey to a healthy skin that needs no filter with the demo code you can use my code which is right now on the screen and you will get 20% off on the demo code website this coupon code is valid on the individual products not on the combos and yeah for uh, you know any other detail you can check the description box below Now to moisturize my face, I am taking this Pond Super Light Moisturizer. I'm going to apply the generous amount of this all over my face and neck area. You want to make sure that you apply a good moisturizer no matter what kind of, uh, you know, kind of skin you have. If you have dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, whatever kind of skin you have. Before putting makeup, you want to make sure that you apply good amount of moisturizer all over your face and neck area. Uh, you know, that is the barrier between your skin and your makeup in a way and that also gives a really nice glow to your face right so your makeup sits very very beautifully on top of your moisturizer you know prepping your skin prepping and priming is uh, something which is very very important especially when you want to you know have this makeup on for good you know four five maybe seven to eight hours so you want to make sure that your skincare is on point now because I'm wearing uh, this makeup during the daytime so I am obviously going to apply a good sunscreen and we already have applied salicylic acid serum so it is kind of you can say that it is mandatory to apply a good good sunscreen so that's why I am uh, gonna apply a generous a generous amount of the this sunscreen I really really like this one I, I am just you know literally obsessed with this sunscreen this not only moisturizes or you know hydrates my skin but obviously gives a lot of protection uh, from this you know harsh sun rays and you can see my skin is looking really nice and glowy and that's exactly what I wanted before makeup Now to blur my pores and uh, you know give my skin a really nice uh, soft uh, finish I am using this uh, primer this is the elf poreless petite primer I really really like this primer and I've been using this uh, ever since I got this primer this is a really really good primer this works for my pores and also makes my skin really nice and glowy uh, this is a really nice moisturizing primer never never skip your primer and especially when you uh, want to you know have your makeup for hours on your skin that is uh, you know going to protect your skin from makeup you know it's like a barrier between your skin and makeup and it uh, uh, you know gonna make your makeup long last which is very very important uh, you know your makeup sits very very beautifully on top of a primer use a primer of uh, your choice whatever works for you whatever kind of skin you have choose a primer according to that and then I'm taking this uh, inside concealer this 
one is in the shade i think golden beige i don't remember but yeah i will be leaving all the links and all the product deals in the description box below so you can check that out so yeah this concealer is very very close to my skin tone i recently got this and i'm really really liking this concealer so i'm just gonna apply this on the areas where i have you know discoloration like uh, darkness on my face that is especially around my eyes and you know around my mouth where i have a little bit of hyperpigmentation maybe a little bit of acne marks here and there so i'm just gonna put this concealer on and then i'm just gonna leave it for maybe 30 seconds and then i'll start blending it with my damp beauty blender you want to apply the tiniest amount of pressure when you are blending your concealer and i'm not gonna take that all over my face i am just blending it right where i have applied this concealer and i'm gonna blend the concealer close to my eyes in the end so that i get the best amount of coverage right there You can see my skin is looking all over like one skin tone there's no you know darkness anything of that sort and that's what i really wanted now i'm gonna apply foundation and for foundation i took two foundations today this is the nika skin genius foundation and the other one is the color bar foundation nika one is a very dewy foundation and on the other side i would say color bar one is a uh, you know semi matte or demi finish foundation uh, so I'm just gonna mix both of these foundations together in the equal ratio and then I'm gonna apply uh, this all over my face and firstly I'm just blending my foundation with my fingers only because I feel your fingers you know uh, you know melts the product very beautifully on your skin and then you know you can use your a beauty blender to get a very nice finished look but you can see this is you know applying very very easily with my fingers only you can see after the application of foundation and concealer there's still a really nice glow on my face right and that's why that all the skincare was needed now i'm gonna set my under eyes with this maybelline fit me compact powder and i'm gonna take this uh, with my uh, you know damp beauty blender and i'm just gonna pack that under my eyes so that my under eyes are completely set and that's not gonna budge the whole day uh if you have oily skin you might want to set your entire face but i have dry skin and this is a winter season so i am just gonna apply this powder on the areas where i can get you know crease lines like my under my eyes or my smile lines but if you have oily skin i think you should be applying the powder all over your face especially when you want to wear your makeup for hours and hours i'm setting my lids as well because i get crazy crazy crease lines on my lid now i'm taking this bronzer this is the wet n wild color icon bronzer and this one is in the shade what shady beaches this is a really beautiful bronzer and this has very nice warm tones in it this is a perfect bronzer for medium to dusky skin people if you are close to my skin tone i think this is a really really good bronzer to go for this blends very very beautifully this is perfect for your day day daytime makeup looks when you want to you know look like very sun kissed you know if you are going on a beach i think this is the bronzer this this is gonna look so so good this has very nice you know warmth uh in this so i'm just gonna apply this on the areas where i just want that you know warmth on my face and then i'm gonna contour my nose and for that i'm taking this um uh, sugar contour the force mini contour palette and from that i'm gonna uh, you know take this shade right here and then i'm gonna quickly contour my nose with a small brush you want to take a smaller eye brush you can take and then i'm just gonna run that uh, on my nose like very close two lines on my nose so that my nose look much more elongated and you know really nicely contoured I'm contouring my jawline as well always always you know take your contour a little lower like you know just right now like I am doing you just don't want a harsh line just take that a little lower and then I'm gonna apply this blush uh, this is the elf bite size face duo and I'm gonna take the blush shade from this palette and I'm quickly gonna apply that on my cheeks this is a really really beautiful shade and yeah I have actually reviewed this on my channel so if you want to watch that I'm gonna leave that the, you know leave the link on the i button or maybe in the description box so you can check that out but yeah i really really 
like this one the uh, you know blush is a very nice blush you can use uh, you know you can use this shade for you know fair to medium dusky skin tones every uh, everyone out there can actually use this shade this is very nicely pigmented as well and this blends also very very easily now i'm quickly gonna do my eyebrows and for that i'm taking this uh, swiss beauty eyebrow pencil this one is in the shade dark brown so i'm i'm just gonna fill in my brows all the gaps that i have in my brows and then i'm gonna use a spoolie to spread the product really nicely all over my brows So for the daytime look, I am using this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. This one is in the shade Rose in the Air. And I'm just going to apply this beautiful warm orange shade all over my lid. I think this is going to be like the simplest makeup look ever. I literally wear this look so many times. I literally wore this for my birthday, for, you know, small events. I really, really love this, you know, applying this warm orangish brownish shade on my lid. It kind of looks like that it is the shade of your lid only but it looks a little better than that right and uh, if you like you can use a shimmery shade as well um, but i personally prefer mattes during the daytime i don't really apply shimmery or blinky shades during the daytime so yeah i'm just gonna run that all over my lid and yeah of course i'm gonna apply the same shade close to my lower lash line as well this looks very connected and completed I'm taking this Mama Earth Kajal. This is a really, really black Kajal. This is waterproof, smudge proof. If you're applying this on your waterline, it's just going to stay, stay there. It's not going to budge at all. So I am just applying this on my uh, upper, you know, waterline. I'm just kind of tight lining my waterline. Uh, it feels like it doesn't make a difference, but trust me, it makes a huge, huge difference. And then I'm taking this beautiful champagne shade. I'm just going to pop that uh, onto my inner corner. It's kind of, you know, open up my eyes. And then to finish up this look, I'm taking this in New York uh, Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is the waterproof mascara. I personally don't wear uh, waterproof mascaras on daily basis but when you want to wear your makeup for a good 7 to 8 hours you wanna you know use the product which is gonna you know make your makeup long last and that's why I'm using this mascara. This is gonna give a lot of volume and length and all the drama to your eyes. You know it's gonna your eyeshadow is very very simple but the mascara is just gonna make a huge huge difference. So I'm just gonna apply that on my upper and lower lash line and then i'm just gonna finish up this look with this beautiful beautiful highlighter right here this is the elf uh highlighter this one is in the shade 24k gold i think this one is becoming slowly my favorite i think i'm just loving this highlighter ever since i got this this gives like water like finish on your face it's you know all the particles are so so nicely milled you can see how gorgeous this looks you guys know that kbd highlighter is my favorite but i think it's kind of getting there you know i think it's it's right there it's just so good it's beautiful on the skin and that's why i'm applying this during the daytime as well because this doesn't emphasize the texture on your face so yeah you can totally totally use this during the daytime and of course during the nighttime as well you can build it up if you like if you want that blinding effect you can build it up now i'm you know, using this a uh, beautiful beautiful lip liner this is the wet my lip liner and i am just lining my lips with this i am gonna wear a beautiful beautiful nude shade you guys know that i how much i I love nude lipstick like a proper brown nude lipstick so i'm just gonna line my lips with this i'm not gonna fill my lips with this and then i'm gonna use this my glam lipstick this is a beautiful beautiful warm brown shade so i'm just gonna apply this all uh, you know this all over my lips this is not gonna move at all this is gonna stay on your lips for a good seven to eight hours this is the finished look you guys isn't this super easy to create so subtle so beautiful any of you out there can actually create this look and i really love how this look has turned out now i'm gonna transform this look into a beautiful nighttime glam makeup look so yeah let's begin now to transform this beautiful daytime look into a sexy nighttime or uh, you know dinner time makeup look i am just taking this nikaki eyeshadow palette and i'm from that taking this beautiful beautiful uh pink shade i just love this palette so much so i'm just gonna apply this beautiful pink shade on my crease you can see and i'm kind of blending it at the same time i am gonna build it up a little and then i'm gonna take the darker pink shade from the same palette you can see it's a little darker than the previous one and then i'm just gonna pack that on my outer corner and it's gonna you know uh 
define my eyes a little more and again first i'm just packing that on my outer corner and then taking that on my crease as well Now because this is the nighttime look, I am taking this beautiful beautiful shimmery shade and I'm gonna apply this all over, not all over actually, just the half uh, of my lid. This is a beautiful beautiful shimmery shade. This makes a huge difference. You can see how gorgeous this looks. This is super super pigmented. So once that is applied, I am just gonna take the brush and just blend the edges, um, you know, with that shimmery shade. And then I am taking the prop same, you know, dark brown shade, applying that close to my lash line and then smudging it out with the lighter pink shade and you can see how good this is looking now i am uh, you know using this uh, blush to complete this look because our eyes are quite bright now so yeah we need to you know balance it up with our face as well so that's why i took this beautiful beautiful shade from k beauty this one is in the shade soft nude looks absolutely stunning on the skin it doesn't look very powdery it just blends also very very beautifully and you can see it is making a huge difference right because it is kind of matching with my eyeshadow for my eyes, I feel like applying a liner. So that's why I took this Maybelline New York the Colossal Bold Liner. This one is actually very, very good. Black and it stays for good hours. So I'm just going to apply a beautiful tiny wing. Very, very tiny wing. It's going to make a difference, but it would not be very, very prominent. Now for my lips, I'm taking this Lakme Absolute Lipstick and this is a red shade but I am just going to apply this on top of my previous shade so it's going to look uh, a little more, you know, nude, not like a proper bright, bright red. You can see it's still looking uh, a really nice nude shade but it actually changed the whole color. It kind of looks very reddish nude, right? And that's why I mix both these shades together and now it looks absolutely stunning. I'm taking this Faces Canada uh, fa makeup fixer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. It's going to make my makeup look very, very hydrated and dewy because this one is in the variant dewy. So it's going to make my makeup look very dewy, uh, glowy and that's exactly what I wanted and it's obviously going to melt all the powders and all the makeup into my skin and everything looks everything is going to look very natural and very light and very glowy and that's exactly what i wanted now if you want you can touch up your highlighter or blush whatever you like i am just going to touch up my highlighter you can see how gorgeous this highlighter looks i'm using the same uh, elf uh, highlighter this one looks so so stunning on the if skin if you like you can actually highlight your body as well i am just using the same product that i use for my face like the elf highlighter it looks so so good on your on my body as well so yeah it kind of looks very very connected and very nice when you do your body makeup as well all right you guys so this is the finished look and you can see how gorgeous this is looking i am in complete love with this look uh this looks so so good i know the eyes are quite bright and bold but still this looks so good uh in person as well so i am just totally in love how this makeup look has turned out and you can see how easy it is to actually transform uh, you know from a very subtle uh daytime makeup look to this gorgeous nighttime makeup look right so i hope this uh, video was helpful and you do create these makeup looks for your valentine's day or maybe any other event and yeah i really really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found this helpful if you did then make sure to like share and subscribe i will see you guys very very soon in my next video till then stay safe stay at home i love you guys all so much bye